little box right here. All right. So while the uh, footage is loading for the next video, and my bench is an absolute piece of garbage disaster as usual because that's literally just the way it is, we are going to see what's inside of this box right here from RC Guy Garage. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside of this box, which has that symbol thing on it, is that upside down? Yeah, of course it is. It has that on it. Stay tuned for this episode from RC Guy Garage. And I suggest if you're looking for a camera, this is the one you get. Are you trying to shop for camera? No. Are you listening to me when All I right. do? <laughs> Are you trying to shop for camera? No. What the heck? Alright, so point blank, this is um this is what I suggest you get. This is just, you know, my suggestion. Uh you could do whatever you want, but uh for me, this is a uh proven, I guess you want to say, uh, camera system for myself. I use it all the time. I literally use it like every single time I film. I've got one of these going that's inside this box. Definitely, uh, this is a kit. Do not separate. But this is definitely, um, yeah, definitely a recommendation from RC Guy Garage. So inside this box right here, you're going to get a rechargeable battery. Hey, look at that, a GoPro. Another thing, inside this box, you're going to get this right here. Hey, another rechargeable battery. So you're going to get two rechargeable batteries inside of this box. Uh, the only downside to this is you will have to go ahead and maybe get one of those dual chargers. I'll recommend that. Um, you also get a 64 gigabyte um this is a good this is a scan disc extreme card i usually do 128s but 64s are fine no big deal gives it a little card that you can stick on your computer you know whatever yeah you got that then it gives you another little ultra 16 gigabyte card which i think they threw in as i think a bonus then right here this is this is the meat this is the meat these right here, these were the potatoes, all right? This is a GoPro Hero 7 Black. This is how it comes in the kit. This is definitely the kit that I would recommend getting. Only reason being is because I've already done it before. So inside that, bra, inside that bag, you get the Hero 7 Black. And the reason why I would say to go ahead and get the Hero 7 Black over the 8 is well it's cheaper yeah you know what let, let me let me just let me open it up got a little rip cord on the bottom here and then this whole thing just kind of slides down and out now this right here this is actually a mount um sometimes people use them sometimes people don't uh, I would suggest actually using this as some type of a mount. You can take this off of this box and then maybe like put that um, real high strength Velcro or maybe some holes and zip ties or, or whatever. But what the, what's nice about this is this becomes a nice flat mount that you can use elsewhere. Um, I have one of these that I, that I already use. So it's just a recommendation. It does work. It's an actual mount. It really works. Uh, inside of this box, there should be, I, I actually believe, there should be another battery. And it's important. Is it? Another battery? Yeah, right there. So inside this kit, you get three batteries. And that's why I'm saying I'm recommending that you go ahead and get one of those uh, chargers. The chargers are pretty cheap. Uh, you might even be able to get one of those inexpensive chargers at least you've got the actual real deal GoPro battery. Um, inside the box right here, like I said, not only do you have technically the mount that's on here that you can pop off, gives you a charging cable, which is a USB-C. I would definitely recommend not losing this. The only reason why is because if you've seen some of my videos, I have like the charging cable that goes from this to a battery bank that I end up sticking to a battery bank they end up putting on the back of my head. I forget where the power button is here. Where's the power button? 
right there. So you can see this one is actually already at 100%. So I'll stick it into the back, and because this cord is just you know nice and small, and this will also aid in making sure that you transfer your data uh, to a computer because this is the cord. Come on, focus. What the heck? Well, whatever. This is this is the this is point blank. This is the cord you want to use. So you do get a curved mount with that, which is a sticky mount. You do get a flat mount with that. The mount that's on here obviously does have this rubber thing right here. That's obviously you know fake, um, but it obviously comes with its own little case. Comes with the perfect little uh, spin wheel knob that you need. We'll pop that out. Hey, look at that breaking it already uh, see this piece right here this piece point blank says remove this is this was just for packing now what's nice about this is this lens right here if you ever crack it you can replace it so I'm gonna push this out now to remove this you just need to twist it Ugh. you can twist it <laughs> I know you can twist it I've done it before well either way <laughs> can't I can't take it off right now but you can actually twist this off. Uh, behind this door right here, you want to press on that button. Slide down. That releases the battery door. That is for your USB-C uh, charging and also an HDMI mini out, which is important. This is just a peel-off screen protector. You don't need this on here. Just has a picture of, uh, isn't that Crush? Isn't that a picture of Crush from... Isn't that a picture of uh, Crush from the... Uh, what the heck? I don't even forget what the name of that was. You know, that, that, that fish show. The fish cartoon thing there. Isn't that... That fish cartoon show. Isn't that Crush? So, we'll put that like that. Now, if you want to remove this door... Uh, and the reason why I'm talking about this is... Pull it down or open it to that position right here. And then you basically just... Pull it away. Yeah, right. I'm trying to show you. Pull it away. <laughs> see how it's kind of like. See how it's kind of like at an angle. That little piece right there. You just got to make sure that when you go to put it back in, you put it at that same angle. Snap it in, and then you're good. And the reason why I showed you about taking that off is because you take off the door, pry it off. We'll pry it off. Then you can take it and put it in the case. Just like this. Then you then have access to go ahead and plug in your wire. It's right here. So then you can plug in your wire and charge your GoPro. Technically on the go. Just like that. And then this would connect into the battery bank. But, but, remember, remember you took that door off. If you go into any wet conditions, make sure you put that door back on or otherwise you've possibly just thrown away your GoPro. It's very important that you put that door back on. And then putting the door back on, you're obviously taking it back out of its case. Grabbing that, right? You can see, like, it kind of pushes out. See how this little piece pushes out? Like that. And then you just snap it into place. Close it up. Same thing on the bottom. In order to access the bottom, in order to access the bottom, you just got to push the button and kind of slide out. Opens up the door. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pull our battery out of the package. Now, Installing the battery really only goes like correctly one way if you try to put it in this way It will go in but you don't want to do it that way 
Make sure that the actual GoPro is facing you as the lens is. Slide that in. We'll take our memory card that they gave us. Now when you put the memory card in, you want to make sure that the words are facing towards the back of the camera. Okay, because see, that's where the metal contacts are. We're going to install that card into there. You usually have to use like your thumbnail. At least that's what I have found. Use your thumbnail and it clicks into place. That's why I got that. And then close the door, slide it, make sure it's all closed and slid and buttoned up. This is your power switch. Should power on. Okay, maybe it won't. All right, well, I guess the battery's 100% dead. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, I'd like to have shown you that it powered up. You know what I'll do? How about if I open up the little side door here? open up the side door I can plug in my little battery bank thing here so USB-C plug it into my battery bank and we should get a wrench on the front well we'll get a red light same thing so now we'll power it on So this is the initial startup of this GoPro, which, you know what, it probably needs to be fully charged, so never mind. Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so anyways, that is a little camera episode from RC Guy Garage, just basically showing you some of the camera stuff that I use. I would definitely recommend, if you're looking for a GoPro or a GoPro type of deal, Go ahead and hit that up. I'll actually put a link in the description. You can go right to Amazon and buy the exact same one that I get that I got. You get three batteries in that kit. Three. And trust me, when you're doing higher frame rate recording, you're going to need those three batteries. The only other thing you're going to need is that little block charger. And I may put a link in the description for that as well so you can pick that up at the same time. But that is definitely the kit that I would get. Gives you two memory cards. Granted, one is a 16 gigabyte, but the 64 gigabyte, which is, uh, what is that, Ultra Extreme or whatever it is? Yeah, Scan Disk. It's a Scan Disk Extreme. I usually use Samsung's, but that one's fine. So, like I said, this was just, uh, I don't know, Pro Tip. Pro Tip uh, Saturday. Doesn't even make any sense. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode from RC Guy Garage. Don't forget about the all-new channel, RC Guy Garage Live. That is where I'm going to be doing, you know, the stuff that kind of belongs on this. Don't forget about joining the Kyosho Phaser MK2, that's not a Z, MK2 Rally Challenge. There'll be also a link for the description in that. And then this bad boy right here, we went through a little bit of a transformation of this thing we took the cab over chassis off we took that cab over off and uh we put some tape on there just to minimize wind resistance and we took the back panel off so that we have no drag or less drag now that's the number that i hope to beat right there 69. i still have to do some aligning and i also have to glue the tires but um my speed on that is 67 miles per hour, and for a little 110 scale ripper, 67 on stock tires, 3S, that's not too bad. So anyways, thank you for watching this episode from RC Guy Garage. If you got any questions, just ask in the comments below. And uh, like I always say, get out there and point blank, rip it.